Let's do a little window shopping for video games. What do you say? How are you feeling? John Riggs here. I love attending video game conventions and I love attending video game stores. And when I don't have the means of doing either of them, like on the off weekend or something, I also like looking up video games online. Maybe I can purchase some games online from a website and have them shipped straight to me. Well, there's several services out there, I'm sure. We're going to check out this one from JJ Games. Let's see what we got. Do a little window shopping and maybe even grab a few things. I guess the art of window shopping isn't to actually purchase anything, but I can't help myself. I got to grab something while I'm there. All right, JJ Games. Well, you got me right up front here. Nintendo, the NES, Super Nintendo 64. Those are the things I look for anyway. Game Boy as well. All right. And got a whole bunch of uh, easy to click on options down here, too. You're looking for consoles, Atari, collectibles. Interesting to see what the collectibles are. Featured products. Uh, there's a 3D Tetris. It doesn't go for $189.99. I guess it does. Let's click on NES. And we see Jaws. We see Ikari Warrior. You know what? Sort by. Let's do it. Highest to lowest. Here we go. What do you got? Show me. Oh, my God. They got the good stuff. Wacky races. Excuse me. Oof. Got Jetsons. Bucky O'Hare. Oh, uh, one of my one of the pieces in my games is when I bought Bucky O'Hare for five bucks, and it still has the software, et cetera, sticker right on the label. Now it's going for only $230 more than that. But, you know, a sealed iron sword. That's interesting. That's cool that they have sealed games here, too, it looks like. Dragon Warrior 4. Cool. It also tells you, I just noticed, um, the, like, the, like, you know, it's Mega Man 5, it's acceptable. Like, it's fine. And I see what they mean. There's, you see some scruffish and some scratches and a little scruffiness. Gargoyles Quest 2, you know, it's going for 160 here. I remember I priced my Gargoyles Quest 2 for sale at a convention. Ah, it was like four or five years ago, and I put a hundred bucks on it, and I, and I I think it was going for about a hundred bucks. And I remember somebody saying, like, a hundred bucks, why are you charging a hundred bucks for it if you want to sell it? And I was like, well, that's the going price. Like, I was going to buy it for that, and now people are buying it for 160 you know? Uh, Kiron Conquest sold for 130 What a great game to have. All right, well, let's let's go down the list a, bit, a little bit more here. And, um, oh, Lolo 3. Oh, it sold out. I was just like, I need a Lolo 3. <laughs> I had one. No, no, I, I still have one. What am I, what am I saying? Wouldn't mind a second one, though. Uh, lowest, how cheap do you go? Three bucks. Two ninety nine on play action football. Three dollars for anticipation. I like anticipation. Three seventy five if you don't want the letter in on it for some reason. There's some cheap games here. Captain Skyhawk got Championship Bowling. That's a fun one. Not bad. Platoon for five ninety nine. Oh, let's buy some games here. Hide Light. It's a game I don't see too often. Eh, it's good. Condition says good. I see. Okay. I mean, you oh, it really shows you up close on this thing. What happened there on the side? I wonder. Add to bag. Yeah, add to bag. Why not? Go to checkout. No, I'm shopping. Uh, how do I back up without removing it from the bag? Do I just click back? Okay, that'll work. Hmm. I wonder if I should do more like alphabetical or... Oh, this is this is fine. This is fine. Oh, Rescue the Embassy Mission. I love that one. Out of all the games, Chess Master is sold out. Maybe maybe it sold out when uh, Queen's Gambit was so popular. I love Iron Sword. Mickey Mousecapade, still a great game. <laughs> Dance aerobics. Fun that. See if there's anything that's just a little bit more obscure. You know, Karate Kid, a little bit harder to find. Roller Games, a decent game. Not a lot of people have heard of it much. I think they would have heard of it more if it was Konami and not Ultra, even though one is one of the same. There are several uh, several pages of games here that this company has. And I keep seeing the same game pop up, so I think I will uh, go ahead and sort by uh, just alphabetical. We'll just go from there. We got Castlevania 3. What a great game. Oh my god, that's a fun one too. I got 91 for Darkwing Duck. Contra, this one, this is, reminds me of the days, you know, because Contra was so common that you'd see Contra all the time for five bucks, people passing it up. It's like, I don't need another copy of Contra, I got Contra, I don't need to pay for five bucks for it. You know, so it becomes that game where it's just like, oh, if you, if you want one, you better you better find one when you can find it, you know, you grab it when you can anyway. Desert Commander is actually kind of decent for one of those strategy games. Cool to see it on here. And for twelve fifty nine, I liked Dick Tracy. I liked Dig Dug too as well. I love the fact that they show you the label condition, whether or not the label condition is great too. It's like this is honestly what you're getting. You're getting this literal game. Dirty Harry, somebody got it for twenty bucks in that condition. So dudes with attitudes, gotta love that one. Oh, Dino Wars. I liked Dino Wars. I think I bought my Dino Wars for ten bucks like four years ago. So not all games it seems to be the raising in price. Some of them are staying kind of flat. Fact Sanity, great game. What a great price, too. I wonder how they come up with their prices. It's like, you know, Gumshoe, twenty two nineteen. Like, what? <laughs> oh, it also tells you if it's a five-screw or not, so that's kind of fun. A lot of people are looking for those five-screw games, you know. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu for only 100 bucks. Great games on this list here. Oh, here's one that you don't see often. King of Kings. This is the camel cover. There's two variants on this one. That one's only 1986. I have the other one. I don't have the, va the variant, so I don't have the variant yet. Click on that. Oh, here's a good one. Legends of the Diamond. That's a, a pretty decent baseball game here. 
I do love me some Monster Party. Orb 3D is a game you don't really see too often. And for 10 bucks only, the condition's great. Can I choose the condition? Is there more than one? I guess I'll... Well, what's the difference? It's kind of kind of click on that and oh, okay. So do you scratch it up for me and <laughs> no. uh, you know, uh, give given the option, really matter to me. I mean, give uh, you know what? Tell you what, I'll take the good version and I'll leave the great version for someone else because I don't mind about conditions so much. So long as it plays, that's all I'm looking for. I just want the game to play. Now it may not be showing me the copy I got on the screenshot, but you know, oh, 50 bucks for Pirates? I would have grabbed that for that price. It's one of those games I keep getting in, but then someone else needs it more than me. So then I trade him for it and then I lose my copy and <laughs> I'm out my copy. Got to wait for it to come back in. You know, then as soon as I get it, I might go somewhere else again. Now tell me the difference between, like here's Roller Games, good, 932, and then poor quality, for sixteen ninety on the same game, that's those prices might need to be swapped there. Um, I don't need a copy of it myself. So round ball, another game you don't see, and also a terrible box art, might I add. Okay, we're getting the S's already. So oh, here's a silent service. Do love me some silent service. <laughs> the handwritten Skater Night Two acceptable? No, I wouldn't call it acceptable. Empire Strikes Back is a forty five dollar game. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. Not the Flintstones game I was thinking, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, here's a fair copy of Legend of Zelda, but this looks better than fair. I, I, I see. It's it's it start the color starting to come through. See the Zelda cards are black and they they're painted gold. Totally rad. That's a game that you don't see too often either. I do like Totally Rad. Now here's a video animation. Doesn't even have the art on it. And we'll move on to uh, Super Nintendo maybe. Okay, so you know decent selection here. A nice selection, and it shows you you know even like just literal condition of what the games look like. So I I appreciate that. And I don't know if I want to go through every little game here on the Super Nintendo, but I will categorize expensive first with Pocky and Rocky 2 right up front. Harvest Moon, Castlevania X, all the good ones up front here. It's fun to see these games and see where they've gone in price and everything. Like home improvement for 112. That game used to be like 3 bucks. <laughs> Nobody wanted it. But then you find games like Brain Lord. Not a lot of people talk about Brain Lord, and I love Brain Lord. Oh, Phalanx, one of the best one of the best box arts in video game history. All right, and again, out of curiosity, low to high. Interesting. Yeah, you're going to talk about a lot of the sports games. What's the what's the lowest non-sport? Well, I guess Mario Paint. And then, like, Super Battle Tank, Super Off-Road, uh, the poor condition. Or it says acceptable. I don't know about that label, though. That's already gone anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, let me check out some of the cheapo uh, Super Nintendo games. Oh, see, Pilot Wings? I love Pilot Wings. Sim Earth? I had a lot of fun with that one. I would just play, like, modern day and just start dropping bombs on everything. It's not how you're supposed to play the game, but still. I do like Spanky's Quest. All right, what else do we got? Uh, let's look at uh, let's look at Nintendo 64. Uh, carts, please. And then let's sort by highest to low. And we'll see a sculptor's cut. We'll see Super Bowling. Stunt Racer, Bomberman 64, Second Attack. There's the second Goemon game. That's the 2D game. Even the first Goemon game is going for 130 I remember having that one for a while. Conspicuous from his absence would be our friend... Um, Conquer. You know, this Chameleon Twist is actually a pretty good game, too. It's worth checking out. And there's a lot of good stuff here. A lot, a lot of, uh, I just, I just like, I like the variety. I sure like the variety. All right, Curiosity got me. Low to high. And sports games. What's the, what's the cheapest non-sports? And non-racing-ish. And non-WWE. Because <laughs> a couple of those. Uh, Mission Impossible. The Wayne Gretzky uh, 3D Hockey. It's actually a pretty good hockey game. I, I played that one. It was a launch title, I believe, or it came out early, but it was it was really good. I don't think it was a launch title, but I'm sure it came out that first year. So there's Nintendo. There's more Nintendo than that, though. Do you not do... Oh, here's Super Famicom. Oh, they have some Super Famicom. They put them in its own category. There's not a lot. But still, there's something. Uh, game... Oh, here's game... All, all Game Boy. Uh, card only. I don't, I don't need boxes and all that. And show me highest to low. It's going to be Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> as I figured. Oh, but there's, a, you know, Turtles 3, Radical Rescue, and Mole Mania. Mole Mania from Shigeru Miyamoto. You might know him from, like, Mario and Zelda also did Mole Mania. This game here, too, uh, I used to have this game. I, I forgot, I got it for cheap, too, but, you know, you never you never know how these prices are going to go. You never know how prices are going to go. Oh, there was a Spy vs. Spy for Game Boy? I, I should have known that. Maybe I did know that. I just suppressed that knowledge or something. <laughs> or something. All right, some neat Game Boy games here. I love Quirk. Oh, not bad. Yeah, there's some, actually some pretty... Um, I, I remember having Quest for Camelot. I'd play that for a bit. And just really quickly, let's check out... No, nope, it's going to be all loose. But let's go out high. Oh, yeah. There's uh, Pokemon. But what about something like Sega? 
and Genesis. There's Genesis. I didn't see it on the menu over on the side there. These are already high to low here. Not a whole lot of Sega love here. But there's enough. There's some. Okay. Yep. Power Stone right up front. What about Saturn? Magic Knight Ray Earth. Here we go. Nope. Uh, Legend of the Oasis. That's the first one they have. Oh, Die Hard Arcade. That's a classic. Urban Strike is a sixty-six ninety-nine game. Man, listen. Uh, Fire Emblem coming up first. Ah, oh, Rhythm Heaven. Rhythm Heaven Fever. Glad I still have a copy of that. We might go up in price though someday, so keep an eye out for it. Uh, only a few Switch games. Wow, they are really they are really focusing on retro here. What do you got for Atari? Like the twenty six hundred. What's the most expensive twenty six hundred game you have? It's already set to high to low. Uh, concentration, and then Alien. Without a whole lot of Frogger. Hey, let's look at the collectibles. What do you have for collectibles? There's a couple of them here. Oh, there's action figures, art, books, decor, statues, plushies. Sure. Oh, okay, those are fun. Decor, what do you got? Oh, a mask. Now, I don't have enough to meet the free shipping for $50 yet, but if I grab a couple more games, which I don't know, it's like, you know, I'm going to spend more money to save $5 in shipping or, <laughs> or whatever it is, but maybe I could make it work. Um, where am I at for shipping here? Let's look at the shopping cart. So as it is right now, oh, see, it's, I'm almost there. Uh, $36.54, not a problem. All right. What's Bandai Golf doing for 20 How's that a $20 game? That's Bandai Golf. Like, volleyball I can kind of understand, because volleyball is harder to find, I guess. Jackal, always a great game. But I see, it, I see it go for less than that, so. And I like Burger Time. Of course I do. Oh, and same with Three Stooges. You know, that's not the best condition ever, but I could I could have fun with Three Stooges. I'll add, I'll add one of those. All right, go to checkout. Am I at my 50 yet? I think I am. I am. I got the free shipping. Perfect. All right, I'm going to fill this out. So don't look. Um, I'm, I'm glad I got that free shipping because 1725 for four NES games, not happening. However, free shipping, I'll take it. It's, it's probably like some kind of like media flat rate or something or other. Um, but yeah, I'll take free shipping. Thank you. Four days later is all it took. But let's just see what the games look like when we open up the box, huh? Ah, the old packing peanuts. I got drink paycheck of peanut. Ah, oh, stuck to my teeth. Ah, you ever do these with this? Uh. Ta da! Uh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can actually reuse some of this when I sell on whatnot. Got the uh, ordering form here. Here's everything I ordered. Oh, look at this. Excuse you, you know who pays the bills up in this microwave? It even says thanks. Aw, oh, nice. Oh, they're all with the static clean and everything. So they wrapped them up in a single bubble wrap thing. And you know, I'm cool with that. I also always reuse the bubble wrap. I mean, I send stuff in the mail all the time when people buy my game through my website or when I sell stuff on like whatnot or something like that. And I haven't had to buy bubble wrap in years because I just reuse the same bubble wrap that comes in. So thank you for that. Nice shiny copy of Hyde Lied for you. For me, rather. Oh, yeah, this is the one. This is the one I saw on the website. King of Kings for the NES. This is one game I actually didn't have in my collection. This is interesting. Orb 3D, clean copy, and it still came in this little kind of protective uh, case thingy. So that's kind of cool. I say case. This is one of those, like, you know, just dust protector thingies. And Three Stooges. I love this game. I love Three Stooges. And these are all very clean. I'm impressed. I mean, with the exception of the label on that one, you can see it kind of bubbling out a little bit right there, right? But, I mean, but it looked like I could see that from the, uh, from the, from the art that I saw on the website too. So I knew what I was getting into before I got it. It wasn't like, hey, we got this game for you and it's like some stolen image and then they just, you know, give you whatever crappy condition they have there. Clean games, fast shipping. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on these too. So that's super cool. Are there any other websites I should be window shopping for you? Let me know in the comments. We're going to see you again soon. I'm going to do some more of this later on as well.